It's a pretty cushy posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. Crazy hours. We don't even know what day it is. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Me and Anne Marie are gonna head up to Maine, stay in a little bed and breakfast, eat some lobster. Do they have power back in Maine yet? Power? Whoa, forgot about that. <laughs> How could you forget? Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around and displace this laundry basket. Uh... What? Laundry. I totally forgot. Shunted the data we need off the server. Log in name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but. I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to. I see it.
hearing some creepy stuff about Mylon. Yeah, I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. Wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. Found him the next morning, covered. Sorry to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on the Zerkezi detail. Your name, please. Zerkezi? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes. Okay, sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You report at 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah. Looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. I didn't know you could hack these things.
As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's gonna have a, a big barbecue on deck, and tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> To me. Captain, all of our command systems crashed. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmiera, can you tell us what's happening there? <laughs> Sit tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe a, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the Walsh. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. The UN, coming to lies, so they should use calling the block possible alleged leader, release no of their long gone lies. The most while after the U.S. call. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but... I'm afraid something terrible My is God. about to occur. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nettage. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job... I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nettage is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. If I can't throw the Joint Chiefs a bone, we'll be at war in the next 24. I need you to bring in Zerkezi for questioning. Ilan Nedich has moved him to Hokkaido for protection. I have no idea if Shetland is aware or involved, but I'd like to find out. However, it turns out, don't let your personal concerns get in the way. In my opinion, there are too many coincidences here. Zerkezi is the only living person who could have orchestrated the sinking of the Walsh. Even if the Koreans did...